Hey guys, this is Tiana with Video Hairstyles, and I'm here in downtown Los Angeles at Salon Pier, and I'm here with one of the master stylists. Her name is Tri, and we pulled Aaron. Aaron is our camera guy, so he's always behind the camera filming, and we pulled him in the chair because, hello, look at this messy craziness we have going on. So they're gonna show us how to, like, you know, trim up the face, and I, they're gonna trim up the hair a little bit, which is really good for men, because a lot of men, you know, don't know how to properly, um, you know, give a really cool fake look. Try is gonna show us now how to clean up Aaron's manliness. Okay, so I'm gonna take a horseshoe section, kind of where the hat lays on the head, section that off, and then take care of Aaron. I'm gonna take care of your tail back here first. <laughs> cool? So do you have a lot of stylists with this same type of look? I mean, is this like a pretty, this is pretty popular, right? Especially oh, living in Los Angeles, I think. Absolutely. Aaron, are you trying to grow your hair out? Um, yes and no. I mean, I, I kind of like it longer. But uh, I'm okay with styling it up. So you don't really have any, a plan? You're just kind of letting it go wild? It's hard to have a plan and take care of yourself when you work on set. So having Aaron look at his shoes allows me to establish a guideline so I don't take too much of the tail off. Right, okay. Mm. So I start in the center, and I work out to the left side, and I just bring the hair to that guideline. Okay, let's see. And since Aaron likes to wear his hair kind of free, I'm not really worried about having a clean line. Right, because it's got, it's got curls in it too. So. Absolutely. So already you can see, like exposing his neck, yeah, gives him that manly but clean look. I'm just gonna connect the sides. Kind of spot on. So I'm going to drop that top layer, kind of shake free those curls. So for this look, is it all one length or is it different layers? It's going to be different layers, but what I'll do is I'll take some sections. Okay, so I'm going to create a pie section, kind of a triangle if you will. And to release weight so the curl jumps up, I'm going to cut and diagonal. One, two, three. So I'm moving to the right side of the head and pulling sections back to just connect the lines. Oh, okay. So essentially you have two lines going. You have your bottom one and then now you're just going through and making sure the top one is sort of even. Absolutely. And then if I see a section's kind of heavy, I'll do my one, two, three technique to release the weight. Keeping it organic to go along with the curl. So I'm gonna push the hair forward and establish a guideline in the front. It'll collapse itself once yeah. you see all that weight that we're dropping on the floor. It's going to disturb the surface and see where those curls are laying. Do you like the length or you want to take it shorter? Whatever you think is going to look great. Awesome. I trust you. So I'm carving out this little area where the beard connects with the hairline right here. You can see that already starts to tighten up that look. I'm gonna go and flip to the other side. Yeah, that makes 
makes all the difference. You don't want to go too deep because you'll create a sideburn that's unnecessary. Your beard's really thick, and I'm not gonna put a guard on it. I'm gonna freehand with a barber comb. Oh, okay. I'm gonna put the tip of my comb on Aaron's jaw and use that to kind of rotate around the planes of his jaw and just take it off. And you could be really liberal at this point. It's very sculpture-esque. Right. So now I'm just gonna release some of those hairs that got caught. I'm just gonna comb it out. Do you like your lip, your upper lip exposed? Can I? Yeah, you can trim it up. Yeah. Cool. So one thing to watch out for when you are trimming men's facial hair is the inconsistency in the growth pattern. That's why I freehand because I will blend that with my scissors and kind of create the shape that I want to see. Scooch do down want? in your chair and then put your neck in the back of the chair. Yep. Perfect. That way. I can see the consistency from the right to the left. So what is the difference between that clipper and that clipper? Um, the smaller clipper is a trimmer. The blade is a little tighter and more narrow, so you can get into these small little areas. Oh, okay. And you want to start broad and work your way in, so I'm creating a nice little line okay. that follows so the you jaw. Follow the jawbone? Absolutely. Okay. So I just finished cleaning up the neckline underneath, if you want to tilt up, just following the line of the jaw over the esophagus, freehanding. Tilt back down. Again, paying attention to the details that bring out the cleanliness and the masculine shape. Uh, carving out of the ear around here. I'm gonna do a little detail work around Aaron's neckline. If you wanna tilt down for me to kind of catch those little fuzzy guys right here. So I'm going to put a little product to control the curl. It's still damp. Just put it on like it's lotion and claw through those curls. Great. It looks awesome. You like it? Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah, it's so cute. Look, you can see his cute little face. Aww. <laughs>